Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see how to find out the slow running queries in PostgreSQL. So this is a very obvious kind of situation wherein you have to find like uh, what all uh, statements uh, which is running in PostgreSQL. And if there is a benchmark which says that a particular SQL statement was running uh, in 10 seconds earlier, but now it is taking 15 or 20 seconds. So just in case you have to create some benchmark and you have to find out a particular statement how much time it is going to take uh, it, then you wanted to log it the information somewhere so we have some of the the methods available due to which we can find out like what all is happening in my database so this is my PostgreSQL 13 which is running on an EC2 instance and uh, all the steps are here mentioned in courses.multiskills.com if you wanted some subscription you can uh, apply for that <clears throat> excuse me so um, this is this is one of the I I believe uh, if you have some temporary problem or once in a while if you wanted to log your information in a return format somewhere into the log file then then you have to do something uh, differently so uh, using this way which we are going to discuss wherein what we are going to do is we are going to log the SQL statement which takes uh, let's say more than five seconds in the database so what I will do is I'll log into PSQL and I'll show you a parameter which is going to help you in this case so there is something called as log underscore min underscore duration so I'll say show log min duration underscore statements if you see this uh, okay uh, uh, let me show you it using the postgresql.com file and the parameter which we wanted to see is uh, I wanted to show uh, the default mat parameter though I have already changed it so log underscore state underscore uh, log underscore min underscore duration underscore statement what it says is this particular parameter by default is minus one that means it is disabled if you put this parameter to zero then any action or statement which is uh, uh, executing in your database uh, postgresql cluster this is going to be logged that means all the information will be logged into your PostgreSQL uh, uh, log file. And if you wanted to mention a particular uh, timeline, then you can mention the parameter greater than zero. The time which you mention over here, it is mentioned in milliseconds. So just ensure that you put the duration in milliseconds, then it will be automatically converted into uh, seconds and whatever way you, you wanted to see so I have already changed it from log underscore minimum duration underscore statements from minus 1 to 500 milliseconds the next thing which you have to do is you have to generate some data so what I will do is I have already created a PG bench or or what you can do is you can create some table let's say if I say and if you uh, mention this parameter into postgresql.com file this is for all the databases which are there in the cluster so that may not be efficient for you but you can do it for the individual database as well let's say if I say if I wanted to make it uh, 1000 uh, or let's say 100 milliseconds then if I say so this is going to be done for the entire cluster all the databases inside this cluster and you do not need to relay the uh, you do not need to uh, recycle the instance just reload it and it is going to work another thing is which is very very important is from where can I get the data so this is going to be very very important so you have some inbuilt tool which is called as PG bench using the PG bench you can generate some data so I'm just exporting the path of the binary uh, location of uh, PostgreSQL 
and then what I will do is I already have a PG bench uh, um, database which I have already created I'm going to drop it and I'm going to recreate it <coughs> excuse me it is already in use so I think the way so I'll just say remove connection I've already made some connection through the yes so this should allow me to drop the database now I think still there is some connection over here I believe this is Okay, let me though we can find out but uh, let's let's delete this what's gone now what we will do is we are going to create the database and then we are going to populate it this is one of the uh, fastest way to uh, generate some data or we will see other way as well let's initialize the pg bench and then we are going to execute this so this is going to create 50 connections and 1000 transactions this may take a minute or so in the meantime what we can do is uh, we can generate uh, some uh, random data uh, in some particular table so let's okay let me create a duplicate a session ac2 hyphen user so i'll say sudo su space minus postgre uh, psql and uh, then what we will do is okay this is this is going to take uh, a minute or so what we will do is let's create a table I'm connected to uh, PSQL and I'll say create table slow underscore demo as select star from generate underscore series this is a good function to generate the numbers so it is going to generate I believe uh, five 50 millions uh, 50 million rows it already exists so I'll say instead of uh, slow demo LLs okay, let me drop this uh, drop table and uh, we will see slow underscore demo okay this is dropped let's create um, create a table slow underscore demo I select star from generate underscore series so this is going to uh, insert 50 million rows and once it is done we will do some operation on this just to see how it is being captured let's create an index on the slow underscore demo table so anything uh, greater than one millisecond we are going to capture in in our uh, postgresql log file this that will be used later on for the analysis for as of now it is just like we wanted to capture the data just i'll say just display the number that doesn't make any sense but this is just i wanted to display the number and i wanted to see uh, how long it is going to take and how to 
uh, capture that information in in some recorded format okay so i think everything is done from our side and even the pg bench data is already uh, generated so we will go to cd dollar pg data slash log in the log file you will be able to see the log you can see the log is here with the today's uh, escape shift g go to the bottom and you can see all the statements uh, this is 14 uh, uh, um, 14 millisecond 14000 milliseconds 11000 milliseconds 1334 milliseconds so what we did is anything greater than 100 millisecond it is being captured so it is like updating the pg bench uh, table pg bench underscore tellers you can see that all these update statements are captured so 131 milliseconds 110 milliseconds 114 and uh, 11,000 milliseconds. So this is the statement which has taken the highest amount of the time. That is 14,000 milliseconds. So using this way, we can find out and it can be logged, but not for the entire cluster, for a particular database, if you wanted to set, you can set it using this way. So I have mentioned this, uh, this statement over here. So you, you can simply, say uh, alter database database name set uh, log minimum duration uh, statement instead of 10,000 seconds uh, milliseconds whatever is, uh, you wanted to find out you can you can check out so we have the uh, sql statement find out now the you can start the next set of analysis from here let's say if you wanted to check out uh, the explain plan and if you find uh, if you wanted to find out like uh, how is the execution of the statements going on at a particular time of uh, the day then this this actually helps sometimes but there is not a replacement of pg underscore stat underscore statement in case because that's a great utility so what you can do is so i have mentioned some more steps those who are having the subscription they will be able to uh, use all the steps what else you can do is uh, the uh, the another way is using the pg underscore stat underscore statement so you can uh, put this parameter in shared preload uh, library and before that you have to make sure that uh, you have uh, uh, the contrib uh, file uh, downloaded on your system so that you don't uh, fall into some problem so once it is it is installed uh, you will be able to capture what all inf uh, is happening into the database but that will be printed over the screen just in case if you wanted to log it into some file uh, so that will be there into PostgreSQL uh, log file. So both the methods, uh, this is more uh, prominent, this uh, pg underscore stat underscore statement, but logging into your log file is also available. So whatever uh, you are finding convenient and useful, you can use both of them. So, but don't forget to uh, come out, uh, just disable uh, the uh, log underscore stat underscore statements. Uh, so that those are not unnecessarily captured. So once your uh, analysis is done, like this particular statement has been taking this much of time, then uh, you can put it to the default one or whatever uh, you have uh, set it in your environment. I hope this is going to help and uh, thanks.